Okay. All right, Emily, how did that feel? It was really hard. It felt like a shock to the system, but I I love this race. It's challenging, but the atmosphere in New York, you can't beat. So it was a fun first one back. They threw in like a 440 mile somewhere there in the middle. Like, I guess like for you, where, where are you at in training right now? Because it's like, you know, that broke the race wide open. So I guess update us on like how things have been going. Yeah, things have been going well. I feel like I'm just kind of starting to come around now. So I wasn't entirely sure where my fitness was, but I wanted to try to go out with uh, Obiri and Tafiri and just see what what uh, could happen and I was definitely hurting the last couple miles but I don't regret it and uh, I was hoping to finish top three but Laura just had a really good kick so fourth in my first race back um, I'm pleased with that yeah so first race back I guess take us through the spring you know having to scratch yeah. from 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 London what went into sort of like that decision making and then I guess yeah. picking up the pieces from that I had a hip injury back in uh, March and it took a month to get back into training um, and it was just a month at the wrong time and I felt like if I forced it and tried to come back faster I actually would have been like compensating and just causing more problems so we're like let's just reset find some summer races and get ready for the fall and uh, yeah and then I came down from altitude seven weeks ago I was starting to get a little too tired up there again so I feel a lot better after being at sea level and I'm back in Rhode Island right now and I'm just loving being back there yeah so that I guess like the training split ahead of a potentially a fall marathon for you yeah. Uh, what's what's the split, I guess, between yeah, Providence? Yeah. Are you going to be bouncing back and forth between Flag? Uh, no, actually, just Providence. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're there. It worked really well last fall, and I actually just really enjoy training there. So uh, my husband and I are like, let's just face there for the summer and fall and just kind of... Uh, we'll plan after that when we do altitude and where to go for the winter. But yeah, we're back in Rhode Island right now. So pretty happy about that. When I say seven months to go until the Olympic trials, how do you feel? Excited? Uh, like, yeah, oh. <laughs> that sounds so close, but I feel like I have so many things I'm excited for before then. So um, it feels like it's further than that, but I guess it's not. So uh, yeah, I'm just focusing on whatever race is the next one though. So I'm excited for these summer races and then the fall marathon I'm looking forward to a lot. So a fall marathon, I guess between, you, you've done a, you know, a couple now at this point, like do you find that like jumping into races like this and like, the, you know, there's a bunch of foul myths and like all these yeah, all throughout yeah. the summer, like that helps you gear up for those? It, I think it does actually. And I just, I find it fun. And after doing this sport for so long, I just want to do things that excite me. And I like switching up distances I race. So, uh, so I just mainly find them fun to do, but I also think it's good get my legs turning over faster. I was happy at the end of Chicago last year after running 5.17s, I was able to pick it up and close pretty fast. And I think that has a lot to do with the training we do for these races, um, the fast half marathons, things like that. So I'm hoping if I get in the right marathon, um, I can close and yeah. So Kira held the American record for nine months. You're almost coming up on on a year. Emma has yeah. talked about going after it this fall. Yeah. Betsy has also kind of floated the idea out there. I guess for you, uh, it, that's that's kind of exciting, but at yeah. the same time, it's like you want to hold on to it. Um, well, I want to run faster, so uh, it's not my like on the top of my mind right now. But I think it's exciting. And the one thing I thought I was missing a little bit from Chicago last year was just that competition. Um, the uh, pacers I had, Brian and Johnny, just did an incredible job. But I think there's something that comes out of you when you're racing other women. And so I'd love if a bunch of us were actually in the same fall marathon and could push each other. Uh, Cause yeah, I I've heard a, a few of them say it now they want to run um, yeah, in that ballpark. So I think we could actually really push each other. Yeah. So final question, Sidious, we just added a Providence Friar to our, our, our team. Uh, oh, David yeah, McCarthy, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? How's he doing so far? Uh, he's doing great. Yeah, David's doing great. We uh, overlapped for a few years at PC, and it's, so it's cool to meet seeing a familiar face. But yeah, he's doing a great job. I right. need to watch his interview with Yako from yesterday. I oh, seen it yet. it's must watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Appreciate it, Emily. Yeah.